Yesterday, I got access to the OpenAI code interpreter and I've been testing with it nonstop. In this video, I'll take you through some of the examples I tried with it, including data visualization, video editing, generating animations, and solving math problems. To be honest, it's absolutely crazy. I think it's going to change how everybody works and change a lot of industries. So let's get started. Get access to the code interpreter. It's like any other beta features. Just go to your OpenAI account. You have to be a plus member. Go to the settings in beta features. Just turn the code interpreter on. Once you have that on, over here at GPT-4, just click on the code interpreter. So once you click that, you can see there's a plus button appear on the bottom. But what this does is it allows you to upload a file of any format. So you can upload a .csv file or an image or a video. The first example I will show you is super cool, is to create a 3D surface plot from a gridded data set. Over here, I downloaded a mountain elevation.csv file. We're going to open this. The first prompt I'm going to use is to draw an interactive 3D surface map from this data file and output a downloadable HTML file. I'm going to send this so we can see that it started to work. If we click on this button, we can see what it's doing. It uses the Panda library and doing some data analysis. And as we can see, it has created a file and we can download it. Take a look. If I open this file and boom, that is so cool. I'm speechless. And it created a full long 3D map from the CSV file we provided. It's also interactive. You can zoom in, zoom out. That's just amazing. I think it's going to change data analysis forever. Okay, let's move on to the next example. The next thing I want to try is image editing. I'm not sure how well it works yet, but let's give it a try. The file I'm going to input is this one of Sam Altman. Okay, so the prompt I'm using is change the background of this profile image to a blue background. I'll put the result as a downloadable JPEG file. I'm going to send this. Okay, it seems like it finished it. Let's download the image and take a look. Again, I'm not sure how well it works and I think it did not do it at all. Yeah, it's not perfect. Let's see if it can fix it. After some fighting, it tried to change the blue, but it did not change where I wanted to change. I think this still doesn't have very good capability of image recognition. So let's just move on. The next example, I want to do some basic video editing with it. So I'm going to use the same image as before. And the prompt I'm going to use is create a video of zooming in and zooming out of this image. The video should be 90 frames, 30 FPS, and I'll put the result as a downloadable file. Okay, it has created a video. So let's download this and take a look. Over here, it indeed created an MP4 file. I'm going to play this and zoom in, zoom out. That is crazy. Okay, it does do video editing and basic ones. So what if now I just say rotate 180 degrees? Let's see if it does it successfully. Let's download this file. There we go. It indeed did it. I mean, these are very simple operations, but this is insane. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit the like button below. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and grow our community. All right, let's get back. The next example I wanted to try is to generate a GIF. I saw this really cool prompt on Twitter and I just want to try it out as well. The prompt I'm going to use is I'm asking it to create a GIF with falling green matrix letters and I'll put the result as a downloadable file. Just send this and see what happens. All right, the matrix has been created. Let's take a look. I'm excited. Whoa, this is crazy. That looks so cool. Well, to be completely honest, this is the best result I've gotten so far. That is crazy. That is just beautiful. I mean, I'm speechless. I'm really happy with this result. Let's move on to the next example. The last example I want to show is its math capabilities. As some of you may know that ChatGPT is not great at math, but I heard it has improved with the code interpreter. Over here, I prepared a math problem for it to solve. It is a PNG file. We can just upload this file directly and let it do its thing. The prompt I'm going to use is very simple. Solve the equation in this image and what's the value of t. 
NFT. Let's take a look. It's going to do its thing, analyze the image, and it recognized it correctly. The solution of the equation is t equals one. That is indeed the answer. Wow, this is so cool, guys. I don't know how the schools will react to this, actually, because now you can just take a picture of your problems and upload to this and you don't need to do anything. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, I hope you think this video is helpful. The world is changing every day and we really have to keep learning. I am here to build and help build, learn and help learn. If you think that's a good mission, please subscribe and join the BruteFab community. Smash the like button and comment if you have suggestions. Thank you so much for my first supporter on Buy Me A Coffee. If anyone wants to support me, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. And until next time, happy building.